Hi YouTube, welcome to another Wicca tutorial. This tutorial is the continuation of tutorial 36 where I demonstrated how to plot learning curves for different percentage of data size. Now in this case also learning curves can be produced for different parameters or the change of the parameters of your learning algorithms. So as I promised in Weka tutorial 36 that I'll be back with uh, this version of uh, producing learning curve by changing parameters of your learning algorithm. This is how you do it. So we have our Weka here and we are going to click Experimenter. We are working with Experimenter. And in the Experimenter we have an option, configuration mode option to set to advanced. We click on new. And in the destination, it's a good practice to left click on this particular example. Uh, in the option, you see that if I expand that, then we have an output file. So this is just to uh, get the output file, the results you're producing from Weka. So I'm just setting up uh, to desktop a file called one.r file. So here, all of my results will be published. So this is a minor thing again. It's it, it's not necessary to understand what's going on here. It's just to save your results in some output file. So you click on OK. So that's the destination part. Next comes result generator. This is the important thing to understand. If you're not following this tutorial, then you can go back to tutorial 36. The links are pro links link is provided here with the video. Now in the result generator, you have the option you have some options to choose from. Uh, we're choosing the second option, cross-validation result producer. And then we are clicking, left-clicking on the option here. Now here again, you have a bunch of options coming up. Number of false output file raw output, but we're not interested in them. We're interested in split evaluator. So in the split evaluator, you can see that you have, again, options. Uh, click on those options and something pops up and you see that we have a bunch of options for the generic object editor but we are not interested any of them except for the classifier from the classifier you choose uh, let me take it to the top you choose a meta algorithm called filter search you select that and again you are left clicking on the option here and now we're going to set the classifier of our uh, of our interest, which is going to be random forest in this case. And in the end, you just click OK to this window, OK to this window, and OK to this window. Now we have set up the result generator. Now we have a generator properties here, which is disabled by default. You're going to enable that. And again, we have some options coming up. From those options, you expand the split evaluator, and then you can see classifier option. You expand that too. Again, in the previous tutorial, we were interested in the filter option, but now this time we're going for the classifier option. We're going to expand that too. Now here you are seeing some parameters like debug, maximum depth, number of features, number of trees, seed, etc. Remember that these properties or attributes there, they all belong to random forest. These are the parameters of random forest. For example, I'm not going into detail, but you can choose number of features or number of trees or even the depth of the trees by choosing the maximum depth. So if you want to know more, then you have to take a look at random forest. So these are the parameters of random forest. I'm not going into detail. So for example, we want to know, we want to plot the error rates of, uh, of this learning that we're trying to do by changing the, no, the number of trees, for example. So the default random forest number of trees in Weka is set to 10. So we are going to change that parameter and we will see how the error rate is changing by plotting them in, into learning curve. So we select num trees and select it and you can see that the default is set there 10. Now I'm going to change that to several other uh, parameter values except 10 
and I'll be back with, with the with the numbers when I'm done with that okay so I have populated the number of trees more number of trees and the default was set to 10 now I have given 20 to 90 so this will be varied so now we have all these number of trees for random forest here in the generator properties take a look at the runs that's set to from 1 to 10 that's for 10 uh, false cross validation and we're going to use a data set called iris we go to the Weka installation package here on my system to the program files and then we're going to Weka 3.6 in the data section you'll find iris.r so we have done that we go to the run tab and we press start so the thing has started now it's done you can see that there were no errors we are going to analyze tab and we click on experiment in the comparison field we are setting it to percentage of incorrect predictions which is also known as the error rate and then we do a performance test so now as I'm expanding this you can see that we are having the iris data set and we have run a random forest to predict the labels for iris data set but we have changed the parameter called num tree or number of trees for random forest and these are all the error rates that are generated for uh, 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 and 90 uh, number of trees for random forest now in order to plot the learning curve again you need to follow the tutorial number 36 where i have shown how you can use this data to uh, go to microsoft excel and plot it there and you'll find a very nice learning curve and by that you can see where exactly your learning algorithm is performing the best if you're benefited from these tutorials on weka and other tutorials please subscribe to the channel and press like share as you like that will really benefit this tutorial channel go forward and until the next tutorial have a nice one thank you very much